That's better. So that's on the tailus. That's on the calcanean, and I'm going to drop my elbow like that without giving up at the wrist. So I've got to block here. I have to work harder. To make that even, so he's got a restriction. He's actually got an inversion block too. So because it's both directions, just I'll do traction. And he's got a bit of a blister here, so I'm just careful of that point. So I'm cupping low on the calcaneum and using that whole talus and then leaning back and doing like a traction mobilization. Almost like the battle rope water ski stuff that I've done in the past. It's just that I don't I can't quite grab that heel, so I'm I'm cupping like this rather than from up under there. I'm needing to use my thumb a bit more to grab it, to get some purchase on it. I'm going to try a different variation. Can you lay on your side, face that way? So the right, right hand is cupped under his lateral. Now the olus, just staying away from that blister. And then direct medial to lateral glide or subtalar joint. So this is a direct mobilization rather than indirect. Not much about this is new to what you already know how to do. And I'm probably choosing to do this one right now because it's a bit tricky to, to do a traction mobilization on that um, subtalar joint just because of that skin blister. Thirty seconds or so. Lay on your back again. Just a fraction towards me. He's got some subtailed motion now, so I'll just recheck the navicular, you know, uh, tail and navicular. So he's got pronation. Stiff. Okay, I'm going to try direct mobilization into supination of the navicular. While I'm at it, I'll do an indirect, meaning I will push his navicular into pronation, and while I do that, I'll ask him to do an active dorsiflexion. So I'll do that now. Jack, when I say go, I'm going to ask you to pull your foot like that. Yep. Okay. When I say go. So here's, here's me doing pronation of the navicular. All right, Jack. Pull. And repeat. And repeat. A bit of clicking going on. That's usually a good sign of movement happening. Okay, stop. All 
right, so that's navicular. This is cuneiform. Got a little bit of give. So that's supination of the cuneiform. This is pronation. It's pretty blocked. So I'll do a supination, which is indirect, plus dorsiflexion. All right, Jack, pull again. I'll do about 8 to 10 and stop. I'll come back to you with his range.